Whoa. Whoa. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Let's Play on Original Craft. I am really excited to play right now, and I have no idea why. I am already down to 30 frames per second. That's freaking wonderful. Uh, <coughs> oh, I should have probably started the timer. No, oh, I should really start the timer, actually. Okay. Woo! We're ready to go. Okay, so I haven't logged on since we did um, uh, 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 Abba Rules with Judah. This is being uploaded, I guess, a few days after that. No idea when. Ooh, actually, he gave me a golden shovel. I could put that to good use. How many levels do I have? I have 16. That is not nearly enough. Not nearly enough. Uh, I also need a pick. Efficiency, uh, I guess. Wait, what's this one again? Me, 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 me. Efficiency 3. This is only... Or, Fortune 3. This is only Fortune 2. Okay, I guess that will be my working pick then. Okay. Uh... I guess I should take as much as I can. Today, we're going to be filling in dirt. Yay. Aren't you guys excited? I should get rid of this, some of this crap, actually. I should. I just see this log, and I'm like, okay, I'm recording. I really wanted to record. Um, oh, actually, I should start off with the terrible, terrible news. Um, zo zero, zo 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 He is no longer among us. He died in a terrible, terrible um, zero-related accident. Uh, I tried to turn that into a joke. I was going to say a terrible car crash. That, that's actually the running joke on the server. Whenever anybody leaves, we say that they died in a car crash. It was actually kind of bad, to be honest. <laughs> but, but you know, um, I don't need these vines at the moment. Well, I'm going to need them eventually. I'm going to need as many vines as I can get for making these blocks. Oh, no. Okay, that's okay. Uh, this should be enough for now. Uh, the chickens! Chickens! Look at all the chickens! Yay, chickens! Okay, so yeah, those zero, those those left. He pretty much hates us all now, and it kind of sucks. I'm just kidding, he doesn't. But uh, what the? oh, I see. But uh, yeah, he decided to leave us to pursue other things, such as getting his own server. Which, to be fair, actually, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna, I'm gonna spend a few minutes here just talking about being completely honest. Um, I, this is just like, I should actually preface this episode saying I'm pretty much just gonna be talking while I dig and place dirt. Uh, this episode, so if you don't want to just hear me talk, then I guess this is not the series for you. In fact, this is not the channel for you. In fact, nothing's anything for you, because if you don't want to hear people talk, then you might as well rip your eardrums out, am I right? Yeah, I'm right. So, uh, what the, what? Here is the beginning of the end, the place that the everlasting silence will start, and then there will be nothing. <laughs> okay, then, great. Fantastic. Um... <laughs> So dumb. Okay, so, uh, yeah, Zozir, Zozos, uh, decide to leave us, uh, him and, uh, we'll say one other member don't get along the best. I will not name names. And the only reason why I'm saying Zozir, Zozos was involved to begin with is because he left and also because, um, uh, uh he, he himself said that he argued with people. So if he, he's allowed to give public information about himself, I, I'm allowed to use said public information. That's how that works, right? Probably. I hope so. Uh, but yeah, so he and a member always got into fights, and um, he has his opinion about the fights, and that uh, he thinks the chat is always arguing. Which, I mean, our Skype chat does get into its fair share of arguments, but I mean, that's just kind of how life goes. When there's a bunch of people together, there are going to be arguments, especially when there's a whole bunch of different people together. I mean, it just shit happens. <laughs> Not everyone's going to have the same opinion, and no matter what you do, like, someone's going to accidentally say something that they don't mean to, like, be rude about, and then someone's going to take it the wrong way, and then misunderstandings, and then arguments, and blah, 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 blah. The thing is, with our chat, sometimes things can get a bit out of hand, and I guess that's when I should probably actually start growing this grass now. Um, and that's, I guess, why Zozirozos decide to leave us. He hates us. Freaking chicken, get out. Chicken. There we go. So, yeah, sadly, he is no longer among us. Uh, what else did he say? I watched his video, actually, yesterday. I'm recording this on Tuesday. Um, yeah, I, he actually released his video quite a while ago. I just didn't get to it till now. That's the thing. I have so many videos on my to-watch list that it just takes forever for me to get to any videos ever, and it sucks sometimes, but I finally got to it. Yay! <laughs> But, uh, ooh, look at that, it's already spreading. Awesome, awesome, opossum. Everything is awesome in the possums and stuff. But, uh, yeah, what else did he say? Yeah, he, he essentially wanted to make his own server. Which, I mean, 
at first I was kind of, I guess not really insulted, but I was actually kind of sad because he actually, well, he didn't steal the members from our server, but he has all the members on my server if they felt like joining. It's not like a choose one server, it can only be on one. But, uh, I mean, a lot, a few of the members, let's see, Hippo, um, Mo, Kenny, is anybody else? Uh, oh, uh, uh, oh, what's his face? Uh, uh, CJ. What's that? CJ, your name is a freaking tongue twister, by the way. It's it's so hard for me to say CJ, CJ, CJ. Is it? Even though CJ is a pun on CJ, like, it's hard. <laughs> it's just hard, man. Um, but, yeah, so... Yeah, uh, they, they all decide to join the server, which they're still a part of the unoriginal craft server, thankfully. I mean, well, not really. Well, I guess, yeah, thankfully, I was going to say, it's not really. I wouldn't be too sad if they left, but that, <laughs> that's what I mean. I didn't mean it like that. I just meant that it's their choice, you know, if, if they ever did want to leave the server or something. But, yeah, I think that's all the members that joined uh, VeloCraft and Zoe's new server. But I was actually kind of not really insulted. But I was a bit sad at first because I'm like, oh... What if Zoe's a way better server owner than me and actually posts videos a lot and then and then everyone hates me and leaves the server? <laughs> um, but yeah, that, that's that's not gonna happen. I hope maybe. Well, I guess I can't really say it's not gonna happen when I don't really freaking know. But uh, yeah, um, I, I guess. I mean, I'm I'm assuming Zoe might be watching this. He did say he will keep up with unoriginal crafts uh, pretty consistently. So. Yeah, uh, the the ultra hardcore that I actually stopped posting a while ago because I died in it. God dang it! <sighs> My stupid death. Freaking god dang it. Um, he was that was actually recorded before he left. So kind of happy you got to play with us one last time. And uh, what we are gonna do since Zoe's actually one of the very first people that have uh, left, um, just kind of on his own but still wanted YouTube because everyone who's been who's left the server has either lost interest in posting videos. Or just didn't want to be a part of the server anymore. Or just didn't want to do YouTube anymore, I should say. So, I, I guess that's one and the same. But, uh, Zoe's, uh, is actually the very first person to ever leave the server who is continuing to pursue YouTube, which is pretty freaking cool. So, I mean, even though he's left the server, he will probably not be a stranger. He'll probably be, um... Uh, posting quite, or not posting quite a bit, um, but, uh, he'll probably participate in, like, future events we have if we ever need, like, an extra guy or something. Um, oh, well, there goes that first sign. Yeah, let's break that sign, too. These, these signs need to go. They need to leave. They need to leave me alone. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so, I mean, I don't really talk about members too often when they leave, like, as much. I'll just kind of mention that, hey, they left. It was sad times. I'm sad they left. Blah, blah, blah. But I'm talking about specifically Zoe right now because he was definitely, like, um, he talked in the chat a lot. He participated in a lot of the events. Uh, out of everybody besides maybe Jay, uh, well, him and Jay, I'll say, they participated in almost everything we did. So it, it was pretty great. The, both those members I, I'm going to miss, or Jay I already miss, and Zoe I will, I am going to miss. And I kind of already miss him due to the fact he's already been gone for a, uh, about probably two or three weeks at this point. But uh, I just haven't had a chance to talk about it till now. <laughs> But, um, yeah, it's his decision, and like I said, I was a bit sad at first that, um, he made a server, not because I'm like, how dare you steal members, but I was kind of sad based on the fact that what if people, you know, get bored of this server, and they're like, hey, it's Zoe's new server, let's play on this one forever, and screw on original craft, but, you know, nothing I could really do to control that, I mean, I could kind of do more community events kind of thing, Ooh, that guy's actually spinning really quick. I guess I could do small things, like do more community events, things to like increase interest and uh, uh, look for new members. Because the Skype chat has been pretty dead lately. For quite a while, we were getting like hundreds of messages a day in there, sometimes up to like a thousand, or sometimes even more than a thousand. I think the most in a day was probably like freaking 2,000 or something crazy like that. But uh, lately, we've been like getting like only 30 messages a day or something in there, of people talking, which is kind of sad. But at the same time, I think people are craving. Uh, new blood on the server. There's only 10 of us, 10 members in total now. And, um, no one's really been too keen on posting too many videos because uh, in about a month's time, we'll be doing a server reset. Yay! Server reset! Yay! But some people are like, boo! Server reset, boo! So, uh, that's 
probably, I'm assuming why, there hasn't been too much interest lately, which I'm going to kind of return to being lenient. So if anyone's watching this that hasn't been posted too many videos lately, I'm going to be a bit lenient because I honestly, I don't blame you if you don't want to post too many videos in the next month, simply because, um, well, I mean, I, if I didn't have any small projects left I wanted to do, then I wouldn't really want to post videos in the last month of the server either and start something I know I'm not going to be able to finish. <laughs> uh, okay, I had to make that joke. Um, but yeah, so I guess that's all I really want to say about that. Uh, I have kind of started hunting for new members to join the server, but at the same time, that's also kind of been put on a halt. I'm just been, I'm not going to invite anybody specifically that I find on YouTube. Um, at least until the server reset is done, just because I think it is kind of a dick move to invite people when there's only like a month before the reset, and I know I would hate it. Well, I don't hate it. Actually, I wouldn't, I personally wouldn't really care too much. I would just kind of mess around. But I know I wouldn't have too much of an interest on a server if I knew it was only going to be around for another month before the reset happened. So, yeah. Um, I guess that's really all I had to say about that. Uh, I hope I got everything off my head there. That's the thing. I always start to say something and then I want to elaborate on it so it makes more sense and then I often forget what I was just, like, I'll cut myself off and start talking about something else. I completely forget to finish what I'm saying. And also, I have no idea what we're doing for time. Like I said, I did not start a timer, stupidly enough. Yeah. Um, I guess that's all I really wanted to say about the whole Zuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuz
Um, not even on this YouTube channel, but on another YouTube channel entirely, where I um, pretty much made an explanation as to why I wasn't posting YouTube videos. Which, which I was like, holy crap, that's what every YouTuber who doesn't really take YouTube seriously does. But, um, and, uh, yeah, I made a, I made a video, and it was crap. I, <laughs> I just started talking words, and I didn't even know, I could not even remember what I was talking about there for a second. But, no, it was like a stop motion. Actually, it wasn't even stop motion, really. It was, it was, um, I used MS Paint, and what I would do... Is I would uh, just make a picture and then I would make the next picture and then the next picture and like every like <coughs> <coughs> excuse me every let's say second or so the picture would change to something else and I would just use storytelling that way kind of like I guess how like does Swoozy, does Swoozy do that I think Swoozy does does that but I didn't steal that from Swoozy because I did that long before Swoozy even had a YouTube channel I think well actually I don't really know that but um that was like years and years and years ago look at this beautiful you know what, just, just to add some variety here, we're going to start um, cutting into the cliff side here, which I want to do. I should finish this in my creative worlds. Um, I finished I finished the inside of the arena, essentially. Um, but I don't want to I don't want to go into my creative world, because I kind of want to leave that part to a surprise for you guys. Um. <coughs> <coughs> what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I, I, if you guys are interested what that video is, look up um, Let the Chaos Begin, Unoriginally Chris. Not LPS, just Unoriginally Chris, because for those that don't know, that's my semi-secret YouTube channel that I used to post real-life videos and skits on, but they just, I'm not creative enough. <laughs> I couldn't really come up with very much for those, apparently. I don't know why, because like I just said, I wish I could just like, I love to storytell and all that, but, oh, great. Um... Yeah, that works. But, uh, yeah, so, I mean, yeah. <laughs> um, what, where was I going with that? Oh, yeah, with YouTube. I wish I could do animation because I love telling stories. Actually, I wish I could specifically do, like, fighting animations because I love, like, constructing fights and all that. And I think that would be awesome to do. A fight choreographer. But, um, no, my, my dream is just a never-ending abyss of not happening ever <laughs> I actually should have done this I should have went over my creative world one last time before starting this episode how's this look essentially I just want a pit over here hmm I should cut a bit more of this way like that and then cut this down a bit meep 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 uh huh I'm out of freaking space of course I am <laughs> Then what I actually did, uh, in my... Oh, I need coarse dirt, actually. How do I make that? Is it... I think it's this. But of course I don't have any freaking gravel. Groover. Ugh. Burp. First burp and stuff. <gasps> um... I have too much crap again. Uh, I need to get rid of some of this. Well, I have a bunch of chests over here. I should probably eat one. But also, these are going to need to be moved momentarily. Let's throw this random raw chicken I have for no reason. Let's throw, like, all these pigs and, um, yeah. So, I mean, I, I guess I was tangenting off the whole, should you go to university and when should you stop schooling? But, um, yeah, go if you want to do something specific, like, <coughs> I want to be an electrician or a firefighter or, you know, something that requires specific not attributes, but skills that you can really only learn in school. I guess learning to be a firefighter in school, like, that's not necessarily true. But, I mean, to get, like, certified, I guess, and to actually be a firefighter, I guess you would need to do that. Let's go on to the next topic. Okay, I have actually two topic generators here. Like, one of these is actually pretty lame. Describe your favorite place using all five sen senses. Fire invisible, I would. Okay, that's not a bad one. What are you addicted to? How does this affect your behavior? Ooh, that's actually a pretty decent. That's a pretty decent one. Um, do I have any more gravel? Ravioli, gravioli. Uh, um, oh, gravel's so hard to get. It's so weird because gravel is like one of those blocks that you would normally have a ton of, or you think you would have a ton of, and you probably would have a ton of if like you're playing an earlier version of Minecraft. But I don't. I don't have any gravel. I don't have any at home. 
It sucks. If anyone wants to sell me gravel, let me know. What was the question? <laughs> what are you addicted to? How does this affect your behavior? I guess I should probably just come out and tell you guys the truth. I'm addicted to black tar heroin. I've been fighting for I'm just kidding. No, I'm, I'm, I should not even joke about that. <laughs> Once again, one of those things I've had to joke about. Um, I guess, honestly, the closest thing would be making YouTube videos as lame as that is. So this, actually, this is not really as great of a question because that's kind of a really stupid, obvious answer. Um, actually, I have more, a lot more gravel than I thought I did. Uh, a stack of... Oh, it makes two stacks. Awesome. That's perfect. I'll take it. Um... <coughs> Yeah, I guess I, I am addicted to you too. <laughs> Not so much the um hmm. Yeah, I think I like that bad. It looks more natural. Not so much the editing part, but a lot more of the uh recording videos. Now I say in a future or an upcoming Super Mario Sunshine race video thingy that uh I have pretty much recorded months in advance for a lot of series, like my Super Mario 3D uh, World video. I don't have a bed down here, do I? I do have beds over here, though. Oh, man. Actually, I might not. I did have beds down here, but they might have been broken when everyone on the server was coming over here and messing around. Oh, they were put back. Wow. Good job, whoever did that. Good job. And there's a chicken in here in the meeting room. <laughs> um... Yeah, I, I've recorded months in advance for Super Mario 3D uh, World. Well, not months. I'm up to part 45, and theoretically, I post a video every second day, but it, it's often just every, like, well, it, it's almost every second day, except for maybe a few days. And I just realized my phone is on right beside my mic. I'm going to go ahead and turn it off before I get a text. <laughs> That's just bound to happen. But, uh, yeah. <clears throat> I just love posting or recording videos to be honest. I've always loved it the most out of the whole video creating process. Just, I just it's just fun to me. <laughs> I love just talking and doing stuff and things. It's pretty great. You guys should try it sometime. Look at all that coal. It's all about that coal. About that coal. No treble and stuff. Oh, Nate. I didn't want to do that one. I didn't want to do that one, but I did it. And now I'm dead. Um, yeah. Uh, I guess that's really all I have there. Is there anything else I'm addicted to? Like, something that's actually interesting? Uh, not really. I mean, I don't really drink often. Um, <laughs> I, I, energy drinks is another common addiction. Uh, and, actually, I do kind of feel sometimes I record just to have an energy drink, which is, I guess, kind of not the best, healthiest thing ever, but, um... I mean, I'm pretty good. I won't just have. I won't ever have an energy drink. Just to have an energy drink. The only time I ever drink energy drinks actually is when I record, and only when I record videos, I will be recording in sets. Like for example, I'm just recording this one unoriginal craft episode. Then I'm closing it off, and then I'm going somewhere <laughs> to see my girlfriend probably. Um, <coughs> <coughs> dang cough. Like I won't ever record, or I won't ever have an energy drink for that because that's just kind of silly. Like, I mean, that's just drinking energy drink for the sake of drinking an energy drink if you're doing it for that. Like, if I'm doing it for one 30-minute video. But, um, yeah. How's this looking? Should place, should place some, uh, grass here so I can see how it spreads out. Because it's kind of hard to see what's the, uh, the bad dirt and what's the good dirt. Let's put some more bad dirt here. Yeah. Uh, is there anything else? Not really, to be honest. I mean, that's pretty sad. <laughs> well, actually, no, it's not sad at all. It's actually really good. Being addicted to things is probably terrible. Um, no, nothing else really pops to mind, to be honest. But maybe that's the thing. There's something I'm addicted to, but I'm in the first stage, which is denial, and I just don't realize it. Ah! I don't, I don't freaking know. I'm, I'm allergic. <laughs> Just, I, I meant to say I'm, uh, I'm addicted to, but it came out as I'm allergic for whatever reason. I'm addicted to snorting penises. You heard it here first, folks. All right, that's the first. The hole's kind of small, isn't it? I mean, someone could come down here and be like, "Oh, no one's gonna see me." Oh, come look for me, guy that's trying to kill me. Bam! Shot in the face with an arrow. Bam! 
Okay, let's like let's do one more and then I'll call an episode. Write about someone you love. Okay. Oh, these are writing exercises. Okay, that would make sense. Uh, the right times are now. Syncopated rhythms. What? How cell tissues form? What? Oh, this is a blog topic generator. That would be that would be reason why. Oh, this is already cycling through people you hate. Huh? People I hate. I don't really hate anybody. Okay, topic over. <laughs> uh, hate is a pretty strong wor word in my books. Uh, there's, uh, is there, I actually don't think there's anybody in the world that I hate full heartedly that like has affected me on a personal level. Like, I mean, there's stupid answers like Hitler and all that, which I guess aren't stupid answers, but you know, like everyone hates Hitler. That's not an answer. Um, <laughs> everybody hates Hitler. It's the new hit TV show on NBC. Uh. Uh, well, there's this one guy I went to high school with. I, I still wouldn't say I hate him, but, I mean, I have a strong disliking for him. And, um, uh, I should just preface this by saying that this guy is the biggest asshole in the world. <laughs> it's not like I hate him yet. No, but he is a pretty big ass. Like, um, he beat up a mentally handicapped kid in Woodburn High School and he got someone to record a video and the video was up on Facebook and he was laughing about it and just having a great time and it was, it was like that's terrible like the kid wasn't even doing anything this guy just went up to him and like he I don't even know what he said the video was actually taken from afar so you couldn't hear any talking but it, from what I saw the guy was the video started with them with the guy let's call him Frederick it started with a video with Frederick beside his friend Billy. Um, and he's like, hey, I'm going to go talk to him. And then he went up to him and then um, to the mentally handicapped kid, we're going to call Bob. So there's, no, I don't know what the heck. there's Frederick, which is the bully. There's, let's call, let's call him something else. Let's call him, let's call him Susie. That's right, a guy named Susie. Don't ask about it. So they went up to Susie, and then, I mean, it, they, there wasn't a long confrontation, they looked like Frederick just started talking to him for, like, two seconds, and then he just started beating on him, and he punched him, and his glasses went flying, and his glasses are broken, and he got sent to the hospital, and it was terrible, and I don't know why he did it, I seriously don't know why, and the video cycled around high school, and he got suspended, and he just laughed about it all the way, but here's the thing, I mean, that's one thing to beat up a mentally handicapped um, person, but ever since then, like, this was probably in, probably when he was, like, 15, no, it's gotta be more, than, well, let's, let's say 16, this is probably when he was, like, 16, three or four years later, all I see him post on Facebook is about anti-bullying stuff and how terrible people are in the world, and that, that is the most enraging thing, I, oh, it's so, it's so frustrating to me. It takes every, like, um, urge in my body to fight, like, just exploding on this guy and be like, How, like, fucking dare you, you goddamn asshole? You beat the hell out of a mentally handicapped kid in, um, freak when you're just, like, three or four years ago. I mean, it's not even that long ago. It's not like when he was, like, stupid, like, uh, like, I don't, like, it's not like he was stupid, like, ten and he didn't know what he was doing, like, 16 is a fully functioning age. You know what you're doing when you're beating up a mentally handicapped at the age of 16. And I mean, he wasn't completely mentally handicapped. Like, he wasn't, um, like, he didn't need someone, like, constant care. And he wasn't normal schooling. But he, you could, like, he definitely had a lot of mental issues. And that's why I said, men wait, have I been saying mentally handicapped? I, I believe I have. That, that's the phrase I've been using to describe him, though, right? I don't mean, like, I didn't, I, well, I didn't say Down syndrome or anything. I know that for sure, but... Um, because he didn't have Down syndrome, that, that's a fact, but, uh, yeah, he just, uh, it's just, I mean, it's not like, I really don't think this guy had a change of heart one day, he's like, oh, I destroyed this guy's life, I'm gonna, uh, submit my life to never bullying again, but I honestly think he's doing it just to, like, win the hearts of people, and that's the most frustrating thing, uh, another dickish thing he did to me in high school, well, actually, well, uh, I guess he, he didn't, the beating up freaking, um, Velma, oh, oh oops, that, that didn't pertain to me, um, personally, but, um, a dickish thing he did to me in high school, <laughs> oh, actually, there's two examples I can think of this, 
was, um, oh, by the way, the reason why I associated with this guy ever was mostly because he was a friend of a friend. He was in our, like, friendship circle kind of thing in high school. Dang it. I need to stop falling. That's bad for my health. But, um, he was in my, our, like, friendship circle kind of thing. God dang it, I keep forgetting this. <laughs> Uh, and that, that's the only reason why I ever associated with him. To be honest, he actually scared the hell out of me because his, uh, older brother, uh, he's like, well, three or four years older than us. He's one of the bigger drug dealers in the area. So, and I actually had a confrontation with that guy once as well, where, um, him and a whole bunch of his friends tried to come and beat up all me and my other friends. But we'll get to that story another time. Actually, I'm pretty sure I've told that story before, but maybe I'll tell it again another time. Um... But yeah, uh, we were at Subway once, and it was me, my friend Matt, and my friend Carmen, and we were just sitting at a table, eating Subway, and then... Oh crap, I just I just actually decided his actual name. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and bleep that out. Hopefully I remember to bleep it out. Um, Frederick <laughs> came in, and he's like, hey, you guys want a ride? And he was like, yeah, sure, give us a minute, because we just picked up all our stuff, and... Oh no! Frederick went back outside to get in his car, I suppose, and so we went outside, and as we walked to his car, he floored it, and he drove away, and then he stopped about 20 feet away, and then we like, walked up to him, and I was like, what the hell, man, funny guy, and then he drove away again, and then he did it one more time, and he drove all the way down, town, bikini bottom, Spongebob reference, whatever, um, <laughs> what, but yeah, and then about 20 minutes later, uh, he came over and he laughed at us, from this car, and then another five minutes later, I was walking down, I heard running behind me, and I turn around, and he freaking spears me. <sighs> Hi. He spears me, which if you don't know what that means, it, it, he essentially tackled my kneecaps out. And I don't mean like he broke my kneecaps, but I mean, I mean like, um, oh, of course, the rain comes on. The rain only starts when you get on <laughs> um yeah so he, he speared me from behind i don't know why i think it's the whole reason i think he speared me to begin with was because i was very noticeably butthurt about the fact that like he drove off i guess he did it as a joke but that was a stupid joke and uh, it was really frustrating me for um I guess he did as a joke, but I was really butthurt about it. But, I mean, that's no reason to tackle uh, me. And then, pff, yeah, so we got into a little scuffle. I remember kicking him in the head, and he kneed me in the chest a few times. <laughs> and then he stopped. Uh, yeah, that's really the end of that story. And then, I mean, we were civil through most of high school. Except another time. Oh, God. Another time. We were at McDonald's, and, um, uh, it wasn't with my friend, well, it was with other friends, and, uh, we, we saw our mutual friend, Frederick, that isn't a mutual friend to me, but, um, I like it's not a mutual friend at all, but, uh, we saw Mr. Frederick in another vehicle in the McDonald's drive through and, uh, my friend Jeremy said a joke about something, I don't even remember what the joke was, but he, he just made a joke. Um, it wasn't even like an insulted joke or anything, and then I just started laughing at it, and then Frederick was like, What the fuck did you say, Chris? I'm like, or, no, he's like, What the fuck are you laughing at, Chris? I was like, I was like, excuse me? And he's like, I'm fucking fighting you right now! And he like started getting out of the vehicle, I'm like, dude, like, calm down! It's like, I'm not gonna fight you for no reason. Yes. And, uh, pretty much the guys in the other car or my friends in the other car was like, dude, calm the hell down, because seriously, this guy is he's just fucking crazy. He's crazy, man. He's just a crazy man. But, um, <laughs> yeah, so, that's really the end of that. Like, he just got back in the car, and then I texted him, I was like, so what the fuck was that about? And he was like, talk to my friend, not me. I was like, uh, okay. I mean, it was you that wanted to do this, but I, I don't know why, like, even... I, still this day, I don't know what the hell kind of excuses talk to my friend, not me. Because, what? What? His friend that was in the vehicle with him had nothing to do with anything. He, I didn't even know he had a friend in the vehicle with him. So, I, I don't know what the hell happened, but, um... Yeah, that, that's my story about people I hate. <laughs> <coughs> but even to this day, like... If I saw him on the street, and the reason why I say I don't hate him... 
is because, like, to this day, if I saw him on the street, like, I'd probably just say hi or something. Just, you know, he's not worth fighting about. I mean, he beat up a mentally handicapped kid, for God's sakes, but... I should know. That, that guy should be just... I don't know. He should just be jumping out of a plane. <laughs> okay, so I guess I'm gonna call the episode there. It's probably way longer than 30 minutes. It's probably, like... Well, probably closer to, like, 40 minutes. So I'm out of do it. Great. Well, I got quite a way, so... Yeah, in the next episode... Ooh, I should fill this up for Creeper Spawn. For it to get a little bit creepy. In the next episode, all this dirt will be filled in, and then we'll start working on some more structures in the arena. Thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!